Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at how we can connect our PS4 controller to our PS Vita and all we're going to have to do is install one plugin and I suggest getting auto plugins too that way you don't have to go to your PC every single time we have a new plugin or you can update all your plugins using this application so I'll have a link for this guy in the description down below and if you're doing everything one by one and that's how you want to do it I will have a link for that plugin as well down below in the description so let's go into our auto plugins select Vita plugins go to install plugins and we're gonna go down to the D section here we go and we are gonna install the DS4 Vita by Zerpy version 1.2 so press X to install very nice and now we're going to exit auto plugin by pressing start and your Vita will restart say ok after your device reboots hit on over to your settings and go to your Bluetooth devices let's go to devices Bluetooth devices so let's transition and get this controller hooked up alright so let's get our PS4 controller connected and this is very easy all we're gonna have to do is check this Bluetooth feature and we're gonna hold the home PS button and the share button simultaneously so here we go and this light should flash and go solid once it's connected so here we go hold those two buttons there's the flash once successfully connected you should see the light solid here and you should be able to hit OK on the PS Vita screen here and it says do you want to register the Bluetooth device and let's press X an error has occurred that's just fine because it's already connected as you can see it's working isn't that cool so I'll bring the PS Vita a little closer and get this set up a little better here. Here we go. We finally have the PS4 controller set up. Very cool. Now you can game wirelessly. And this is a very cool feature. I love this plugin. And it's going to be a lot of fun playing some of these games. It's great. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. One of the best features about this plugin is that you can use this button here on the PS4 controller to scroll through. And that is pretty awesome. Look at that. That is very slick. And I'm just falling more in love with this system every single time I do a video because there's just so much that the Vita is capable of doing and on my next video I will show you how to get a PS3 controller set up which is also possible and if you don't have a PS4 controller I will have a link in the description down below so you can go and get one and everything works flawlessly and your four buttons here should work no problem holding the home button will take you to the settings here very good and that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you have any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you guys so much for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one